Hi, it's Steven Slate, and I'm incredibly happy to announce yet another new analog model processor in the Slate Digital roster, and this one is really fun. It's called the Monster Extreme Dynamic Processor, and you're about to hear why we gave it that name. Monster emulates the classic all buttons extreme compression sound of the vintage FET limiter hardware. But rather than just stop at modeling the classic over compression tone, we added a few very cool additional features that make this processor more versatile, more creative, and really more useful. So let's get started with one of the most famous uses of this effect, my favorite thing in the world, drums. So first here's a mono drum room mic with no processing. Okay, so now I'm gonna enable the monster and the first thing we're gonna hear is the authentic effect and get ready because it's kind of insane. And there you go. That is the classic all buttons in effect 100%. And as you can hear, it can be pretty brutal, but in a, in a beautiful way. And that's why we added some really cool features that I think you're going to love. The first thing you may have heard in the drum example is that the high end of the cymbals is really aggressive and can get a bit harsh with this full effect. So that's why we added this knob, which is called high frequency detection. So this increases the amount of high frequencies into the compression, so therefore the compression will react more dramatically to high frequencies and it makes the top end smooth. And then we added a variable high pass filter into the detection as well. So increasing this knob will make the compressor react less to the lows, therefore making the low end sound bigger and more punchy. So it's kind of like the opposite of the high frequency detection. One boosts into the compression sidechain, one takes away from the compression sidechain. And as you probably heard, even with the attack slowest, the transient of those drums really went bye bye. Uh, which is pretty cool, but in some cases you want the extreme compression effect, but you also want to keep a little bit of punch. So we added a button that retains a bit more punch without affecting the overall extreme compression tone, and it's called punch. And last, probably the most necessary function required for a processor like this is a mix wet dry knob, uh, which will blend the wet effect and the dry effect. I mean, this is going to allow us to get the perfect blend of compression and original dry tone. It's really, really useful on this type of process. Okay, so you've met our new friends. Let's use them to tweak this drum track. And now a quick AB. Okay, now let's do a more real world example of drums. So here's some drums from SSD4's Blackbird collection. Okay, so these sound good, but I want a little more excitement, I want some bigness, I want some depth, and I want some glue. So I'm going to tweak Monster on the overhead mics, which are here, and the room mics, and then I'm going to add a tiny, tiny little bit to the overall drum mix. Check it out.
So now that's really grooving. We've got a subtle but important depth and bigness. Uh, you can really just hear the front to back depth uh, a lot more. And you can see that I'm, I'm going pretty conservative on that mix knob, especially on the full drum mix. I mean, a little of this effect goes a long way. So let's do an AB here. And finally, let's hear the monster on a vocal. First, the vocal without the monster. Love is all there is. And everything else is a lack there. So as you can see, the vocal already sounds pretty great. It's got the FG116 Blue Vintage, but I want to make it a little bit smoother and a little bit warmer. The monster is going to be perfect for that. Check it out. Love is all there is. And everything else is a lack there. Man, I really, really love that. It's like a big, warm, smooth hug on that vocal. So in this intro, you've heard Monster on drums, you've heard it on vocals, but it is so fun to play with it on lots of different tracks and lots of different music genres. Electronic guys, you are going to love smashing synths and beats with this guy. I've got some great presets too. Uh, so listen, if you want to purchase Monster, you are out of luck because it's free. That's right, if you have an iLock 2, you can download Monster as part of the Virtual Mix Rack shell, which also includes another one of my favorite plugins called Revival, a sonic enhancer, as well as our trim level meter and polarity module, and you'll be able to demo a whole lot of other cool iLock 2 plugins. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoy the free Monster Extreme Dynamic Processor. Be, be gentle with it though, be gentle, treat it nicely. Uh, and as usual, happy mixing.